I keep forgetting to tell you guys if you like the channel if you like the video throw a like down there and if you're not a subscriber go ahead and subscribe to it Well, hello there. How are you on this rainy day? Well, we've made it to Evansville, Indiana, where we are going to get loaded now. This load is going to go up to Lamar's, Iowa. And uh, from Lamar's, Iowa, we're going to go home. Like I've said before, Lamar's is about 80 miles from home, so it works out okay pretty sure this loads gonna be plastic buckets pails ice cream pails not a hundred percent sure we're wait till we get loaded then we'll check it out you know yesterday last night I told you guys about my bumper incident you know daylight came and I got out and I looked at it a little bit more and there is one little tiny crease right here right there but I'm gonna hook it up down here when we get home and I'll be able to dig it out you know just pull it out a little bit but as you can tell I didn't bend it up too bad so it's going to make it I have hot plans for it high plans for it you know I'm gonna we're gonna reinforce that bumper we're gonna make it worth a bumper to have on a truck right now it's just too thin got some kind of crappy news yes I got crappy news today we knew it was coming we didn't want it to happen but we knew it was gonna happen our governor oops, sorry about that our governor in the state of Iowa went ahead and closed the schools for the remainder of the school year we knew it was going to happen. Understandably, it needed to be done. But as you guys already know, Warden is a teacher. And both of the kids, you know. So there were some tears at the house this uh, this morning after the press conference. You know, Warden, she's, Warden is one heck of a good teacher. And she's a special ed teacher. So, I mean, she gets, she gets in deep with those kids, you know. She... It's like they're her own kids almost they just don't talk back to her as much and of course my kids you know they're social social butterflies and they don't get to see their friends now I feel for them I really do and it had to be done I understand but I just feel for them and when it affects my family like that you know when I see tears you know no everybody is healthy my, my grandma guys a few of you have asked 
My grandma is back home. She's healthy, getting recovering still. Um, but when I see them, hear about them with tears in their eyes because of something like that, oh, it just makes me mad. It just infuriates me. And I want to rebel. Man, do I want to rebel. I want to say, screw wearing a mask, screw wearing gloves. I'm going to teach this virus that it's not the boss of me. I can do whatever I want. Well, then you slow down, you think about it a little bit. And I'm not wearing those gloves and that mask for me. I'm wearing it for the ones at home. I'm wearing it for the people I might run into down the road. Who knows, I might have something and I don't want to give it to them. So I'm not going to rebel that way. Instead, I'm just going to rebel by whining a lot, cussing the country that it came from, little stuff like that. So that was the bad news today. But I'm tired of getting wet. It's raining on me. Your screen's probably getting a little damp. So I'm gonna jump back in the truck. Usually this place takes about an hour, a little bit over an hour to get us loaded up. Then we're gonna hightail at home. I might actually take advantage of that whole extended driving time on this trip not really taking advantage of it they need it up there and it's a food grade product but I also just want to be home my microphone's really wet I gotta get back in the truck well ladies and gentlemen we are loaded I was wrong about the hour hour and a half it's only been four and a half hours been seeing that a lot more out here lately Everybody just seems to be getting busier. Well, why don't we go see what's in the trailer? That doesn't tell me anything. What do we see here? We got a seal. What do we have? It's big plastic things. The only reason I know it's plastic is because I'm at a plastic factory. Yeah, that's something new that they're doing with uh, their loads here. Used to have to go in, sign a bunch of papers and everything, but it says they have my signature on file and they do not need my signature. So technically, we are done here. As we set right now, let's see what Jarvis says. Jarvis is telling me we have 723 miles till we get to, where are you at? There you are. Till we get to Lamar's, Iowa. Jarvis is wrong though. He got us going all the way over to Kansas City. Kansas. No, it'd be Kansas City, Missouri. And head north on Interstate 29. Can't do it. Interstate 29 is just too boring. So we're going to run Interstate 380 up to Highway 20. Now Highway 20 is a very boring highway in Iowa, but it's quiet. There's nothing. It's a four-lane highway. You can literally set your cruise, kick back in your recliner, and drive.
I figured if he was going to leave his lights on, I just will use this for a little camera op time. We made it to Lamar's, Iowa. Quick trip. That was a fast 700 miles. I think it was 700 and I don't know. But we're here. We're going to drop this trailer off and go home. But before I go home, you know it, there's one stop I gotta make. I'm out of cereal. My subscribers, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I keep forgetting to tell you guys, if you like the channel, if you like the video, throw a like down there. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to it. Other than that, we're gonna go get some cereal, and then, uh, then we'll go home. Well guys, you guessed it, I'm home. It was a good week. We had a really good week. We ran out there, come back, everything went smooth. Didn't run into any snags. It's kind of breezy out right now. I may have overdone it again at the meat counter. I, I just need to stop, learn to stop going in for cereal. Because I come out with too much meat. Well, before we wrap this one up, I just want to throw a special shout out to Grandma Joyce. It's official now. You see me more during the week than your granddaughter does. Hang in there. This will all be over shortly. Maybe. Hopefully. Dogs. Well, I hope everybody out there is still healthy. And I hope you're still happy. Yes, hi. This is Jackie boy. Yes, hi. And be safe. I'll see you in a couple days.